What's going on everybody? We're back again with some of our last two NFL game previews. Now in this one we're going to be talking about the Panthers versus the Lions. Two teams that are coming into this game 3 and 1. Um I'm very shocked that the Panthers are 3 and 1. Not so much with the Lions. You can make an argument that the Lions should actually be undefeated because of what happened when they played the Falcons, but here we are, both teams at 3 and 1. Both teams coming off of victories last week. Uh, the Panthers beating the Patriots. And the Lions beating the Vikings. Now, for the Lions, this team goes with Matt, as Matt Stafford goes. Um, I like what they're doing. They're still a very, they're still a very fluky team to me. They do a lot. They have a lot of fluky wins. Um, they're not excellent at any one position. They're very, very good. They're a very, very good team though. Um, Jim Caldwell is a very good coach. I think he's worked out perfectly with the Lions. Um, Jim Bob Cooter, their offensive coordinator, puts Matt Stafford in a position to win ball games here. Um, and that's what matters from an offensive coordinator. Now on the flip side, the Panthers are... Um, Panthers here are 3-1. and one. Um, They come off a win against the uh, Patriots last week in a game that I was shocked that they won. Um, obviously the Patriots don't look like the Patriots of old, so. But yeah, Cam Newton's playing pretty well, um, bringing in Kit Christian McCaffrey here to um, to come in here and be a receiving back. They, they still go with the run game. I still don't like that Cam Newton takes a lot of hits here um, as a quarterback. I don't think he's gonna last much longer. He's very inaccurate as a quarterback. And he takes a lot of unnecessary hits that he shouldn't take. Um, now going through some key matchups here. We're going to have um, this Lions defense versus Cam Newton. Now, <clears throat> basically the front seven here. So um, Cam Newton does tend to um, take a lot of unnecessary hits uh, with it being running or just being under pressure in the pocket. Now... The Lions aren't necessarily known for their pressure like they once were when they had Sue, um, but they can still get there. Um, they have corners that can make plays on the ball like Darius Slay and Glover Quinn at safety, um, guys who can make plays on the ball, who can cover their men here. Now they've won a lot of they've won a lot of their games this year. They've won most of the three games that they've won. They've won with using their defense very effectively. Um, their defense gets stops, gets the ball to Matt Stafford. Matt Stafford takes him down the field and gets scoring drives here. So that's something to look out for here. Um, another key matchup here is going to be the um, the Lions passing game versus that Panther uh, pass defense here. Now, um, Matt Stafford likes to use Golden Tate a lot over the middle of the field, be his intermediate receiver. They don't really have a deep threat. I guess Marvin Jones Jr. is that guy, but him and Matt Stafford, since Marvin Jones has been paid, got paid last year in the offseason, um, he hasn't been what they expected, in my opinion, what they paid him for. Now, that's something to look at here is because Matt Stafford, last week they threw the ball 42 times, um, which is a lot. And they still won the game here, so just things like that to look at. And the third and final thing to look at here in this matchup is going to be the Panthers' running game. Can they get going? Are they going to be able to sustain long drives? For me, I like a team that can sustain long drives. I'm talking five, six, seven minutes off the clock, uh, picking up first downs at a time. Um, you're getting five yards of play pretty much. Um, if you stay ahead of the chains, you're able to do that. They have a very dynamic rushing attack with Jonathan Stewart, Christian McCaffrey, and Cam as well. So if they're able to get those three guys going, um, they can have over probably 150 rushing yards as a team. They'll win this game, but it's going to be tough running. Um, I like the Lions' defense. They're very underrated, but I like their defense in this matchup here. Now, jump into our three reasons why here. So three reasons why each team will win the game. Let's start with the Panthers. Um, the Panthers will win this game because they're able to limit Cam Newton's hits. Um, basically, uh, using their running attack with Jonathan Stewart and Christian McCaffrey here, um, Cam Newton is able to complete over 60% of his passes, 60 to 65, somewhere around there would be nice. Um, he's able to make a couple of big plays in the passing game that able that's able to flip 
momentum to their side at key moments in this game. Um, another reason for the Panthers to win is going to be because of their defense. Their defense is able to force Matt Stafford into releasing the ball earlier than he likes to. He, they already, he already releases the ball pretty quick. Um, but if you're able to take away his outside receivers and his tight end, you have a chance here. So looking at that, you'll be able to... You know, if they're able to do that, they force some turnovers, get some sacks, obviously they can win the game. That's what it comes down to, quarterback pressures. Now, a third reason that they'll win this game is Christian McCaffrey has a breakout game. Now, I'm going to single Christian McCaffrey out singly because I don't think he's lived up to the hype, especially where they drafted him. So if they're able to get him going, like, let's just say over 150 total scrimmage yards, that would be huge for them to win this game because they're able to play ball control here. They're picking up five yards of play. Now, three reasons why the Lions will win this game is because uh, Matt Stafford is able to be Matt Stafford. He's able to complete a lot of passes. Um, they don't really have much of a running game, but that will be highlighted later on. So, if they're able to go ahead and get Matt Stafford going, um, he uses his quick to intermediate passing game. They should win this game here. Um, number two reason why they win this game is because they're actually going to be able to use a running game. So Amir Abdullah is their number one back right here, but they tend to use Theo Reddick in the passing game. But if he can get a couple touches in the ground game, they say he averages over six yards an attempt on his limited um, rushing attempts, then they have a chance. Um, if Amir Abdullah even gets over 80 yards, they have a chance to win this game because the Lions don't run the ball very much or they can't run it effectively. So if they're able to do that, they can win this game. Time of possession here. Um, and the last reason why the Lions will win this game is because of their defense. Um, their defense has hold, held opponents very tough this year, um, except for the Falcon game, but you could make the excuse that that's the best offense in football. Um, so looking at that, their defense here can get some pressure on Cam Newton. If you're able to lay the shots in on Cam Newton, he becomes a highly erratic passer. He likes to run, so if you're able to get the shots in on them, he becomes beat up as the game goes on. I like Cam Newton, the person. I don't like Cam Newton, the quarterback. So if they're able, because I don't like how inaccurate he is. So if they're able to do things like that, if they're able to do things like that, get pressure, force the turnovers, things like that, they'll win this game. My prediction for this game is that the Lions are going to win. The Lions are going to stay hot. They're going to continuously look like one of the best teams in the NFC North here. Um, so if they're able to do that, they're able to, you know, if they're able to stay hot, get the pressure going, the pressure game matters, keep Matt Stafford clean in that pocket, you know, they'll have a chance to win this game. I'm going to take the Lions in this game. I'm going to take them 24 to 20. Um, I think that the Panthers will come up short. I think Cam Newton will throw a costly pick towards the end of this game. And um, that will pretty much seal the deal in that game. So Lions 24-20. That's my prediction, my breakdown. Thank you for watching, and I'm out. Peace.